everyone. I'm your host and NCLEX tutor, Annalise Garrison. And I just got done tutoring a session about infection control. So I just want to say these few tidbits, okay? Um, when it comes to measles, if the NCLEX just says measles, put it in the airborne category. Think of it as an airborne disease. If the NCLEX says rubella, put it in the droplet category, okay? If the NCLEX says rubiola, put it in the airborne category, all right? So that's the tidbit I wanted to say about measles. Now I want to explain to you, I want to talk to you a little bit about MRSA and VRE. When the NCLEX talks about MRSA, what does MRSA stand for? Methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, right? So all that's telling me is that there is a specific bacteria, Staphylococcus aureus, that is resistant to methicillin. All it's telling me is there's a specific bacteria resistant to a specific antibiotic. It doesn't tell me whether it's contact droplet or airborne. So this is what I want to tell you. If it's in the urine or if it's in um, a wound dressing, for example, it would be contact. If, for example, it's in the sputum, it would be droplet. Okay? So it's important that you read your NCLEX question. All right? Are you taking, uh, are, are they being tested for a urine sensitivity test to MRSA? All right, that would be contact. Um, are, they, are, they, are you taking a sputum culture sensitivity test for MRSA? That would be droplet, all right? So remember, when you have these vague diseases, MRSA, VRE, even sepsis, all right? It's all contact, unless the question says something different. All right, now, think of it this way. If you can cough it, sneeze it, or spit it, it now becomes droplet, okay? If you can inhale it, it now becomes airborne. So those three things, now what, the, what is VRE? VRE is vancomycin, resistant enterococci. It's a specific bacteria that is resistant to vancomycin. That's all it's telling me. So read your NCLEX question and decide whether you should put sepsis, VRE, or MRSA in a specific category. All right? That's what I'm going to say about that. Now I want to tell you about uh, the putting on a protective, uh, personal protective equipment and taking off personal uh, protective equipment. And uh, when you should put it on and take it off for the NCLEX questions. So let's switch our focus to this. In closing, I just want to take two minutes of your time because the NCLEX is asking questions like, when should you take your gloves off? When should you take your mask off? When should you take your gown off? So I want to make sure you know the sequence for putting your personal protective gear on and taking your personal protective gear off. Okay, when putting your personal protective gear on, let's take a look here. We want to put first put on our gown. Then we want to put on our mask or our respirator. Then we want to put on our goggles. Then we want to put on our gloves last. Now, it goes without saying that we all wash our hands before we put on our personal protective gear. Correct? All right, now... When you go to take your personal protective equipment off, you take your gloves off first. 
Then you take your goggles or your face shield off. Second. Third, you take your gown off. Fourth, you take your respirator off. Outside of the room, you take your mask or your respirator off outside of the room. All right? Don't get that wrong on the NCLEX. Look what it says here. This was taken from the Center for Disease Control. It says, remove all PPE before exiting the patient room except for the respirator, if worn. So remove the mask and the respirator outside of the patient's room. Then wash your hands. Okay, don't forget this. Write it down. Rewind and take notes again if you missed anything. All right, God bless you for those of, of you who I'm tutoring tomorrow. I'll see you on Zoom bright and early. You know who you are. The rest of you, if you need tutoring, uh, click the description below. Order your tutoring package today. And God bless you, and let's all get through this together, okay? Take care. See you in the next video.